The November 2000 ban list reigned in the power level of the current top decks by limiting Morphing Jar number 2, Cyber Jar, Jinzo, Monster Reborn, Sinister Serpent, Snatch Steel, and Swords of Revealing Light. The list also semi-limited Heavy Storm and Imperial Order. This ban list primarily hurt Mill, but also Cannon Burn and Painful Exodia. Not that Painful Exodia was really viable with Mill in the format to begin with. Good stuff was practically unfazed, as Jinzo was searchable with Witch of the Black Forest, and limiting the other staple cards was honestly a long time coming. However, even with these new changes to the ban list, the release of card destruction in the EXR starter box gave Mill yet another destructive card to work with, as it was essentially the spell card equivalent of Morphing Jar. Sure, your opponent's gonna draw the same number of cards, but if you force them to use their Sangens or Witch of the Black Forest to actually increase the amount of cards in their hand, then card destruction becomes a lot more potent. Good Stuff decks also received a boost from the newest video game release, Duel Monsters 4 Battle of Great Duelist. Similar to the Pokemon games, Konami divided this game into three separate versions, Yugi, Kaiba, and Joey, and each version contained exclusive promos from their respective games. Notably, Kaiba's version contained Vorse Raider, a strictly upgraded Gemini Elf since it had 300 more defense points, totaling 1,200. Surprisingly enough, that was actually quite relevant considering Sangen and Witch of the Black Forest could no longer run it over in battle, and that was especially relevant with Mill being prevalent in the format since cards were being set all the time from Cyber Jar, Morphing Jar Number 2, Spear Cretan, and The Shallow Grave. Joey's game got the short end of the stick, as always, but Yugi's version contained one of the most destructive trap cards in the history of the OCG. You know, you would think a ban list would be enough to, like, take care of, like, the supposed best decks during this time, but clearly not. We're back again with Mill, and uh, even though this deck has incurred several hits, it is uh, still really good and actually has gotten more tools since the last time we saw it. So for the hits, I mean, Cyber Jar is limited, Morphing Jar number two is limited, Swords is limited, which is big because it walls off a lot of aggression, although this deck doesn't really have much trouble establishing a lot of monsters on the field. Uh, I believe IO went to two, so, like, there's just a bunch of, like, weird limitations and semi-limitations, but one card the deck did receive is Card Destruction. Now, Card Destruction's crazy because it's effectively a Morphing Jar, sort of, right? You're always minusing yourself to activate it, but if you pair it with something like, you know, Cyber Jar, which is going to refresh your hand, Morphing Jar is going to refresh your hand, like, it's not the end of the world, and mainly what you're looking to do is you're looking to just make sure that this is just effectively three more copies of Morphing Jar that you can activate at spell speed because Morphing Jar does have to flip. It's vulnerable to a lot of cards like Nobleman of Cross out and such. But if you can just card destruction them, then now all of a sudden you have a much faster way to win the game. And so cards like Spear Cretan become a lot more powerful now because now you have to make sure that you're resolving stuff like your Cyber and your Morphing Jar number two, or if you really need it, your Morphing Jar. Uh, the deck has altered its strategy slightly, but it's still the same mill deck you remember. And arguably a little bit faster with card destruction because, well, yes, you're missing your two Cybers and your two Morphing Jar number twos, you have to set those cards. They are very slow. There's no, like, Book of Taiyu or anything to, like, actively flip them up. And the other top decks at the time are main decking hate to make it so that these decks aren't going to achieve their win condition. As for good stuff, though, good stuff is still in a very well-positioned place. We have the fact that Heavy Storm went to two. I think Snatch Steel went to one. Call of the Haunted might be semi-limited, or if it's not, it's, like, the next list or something to that effect. Jinzo, I mean, you know, it's Jinzo, right? I mean, obviously, he's going to go to one. Um, we we get Vorse Raider, which is upgraded Gemini Elf, which is really funny because it's only upgraded because it's 300 more defense, but that's actually relevant because that means Witch and Sangan can't run over Vorse Raider, and that's doubly relevant considering that Morphing Jar number two sets monsters from the deck specifically, uh, so there isn't the chance that it, a Gemini Elf can get run over compared to Vorse Raider, so it is a straight up power creep, and now if you're playing like a good stuff deck, you could arguably play Vorse Raider and Gemini Elf, not that that's like advised, but like you could in theory. And Good Stuff also has a new tool at its disposal. Mill has card destruction, but Good Stuff, and honestly, let's be honest, like almost every deck at this point is going to run this, Ring of Destruction. So Ring of Destruction is especially crazy because this actually gives the Good Stuff deck a much easier way to win the Mill matchup because you're able to, if you're not familiar with old Ring of Destruction because it's been errated in the TCG for those who are watching more recently, Ring of Destruction's old effect allows you to destroy any monster, not just your opponent's, and it's going to make it so that you could, in theory, blow up your own monsters and make it so that if you get in, like, let's say you go, like, Heavy Storm, you take out some of their back row. Let's say they have, like, a Morphing Jar set. It's not something that's going to affect the field, like Cyber Jar, Morphing Jar number two. Now 
now all of a sudden you can go like Vorse Raider, Reborn Vorse Raider and get in for like 38 and then ring your own Vorse Raider and that's an extra 1900. So now all of a sudden you can actually put the mill player on a bit of a clock where before you didn't really have a tool that could do that. Sure, like Ceasefire kind of does that, but it is a bit reliant on your opponent actually committing stuff to the field. And Ceasefire sort of gets weaker because Cyber Jars at one, it's still incredibly powerful at stopping the flip effects, but the burn becomes a lot less prevalent because they're not summoning so many monsters on the field because Cyber Jar was typically the mechanism to which those monsters would establish. And so, while yes, I mean, there is still like this back and forth between both of these strategies, they're both sort of reined in a little bit. And Exodia is obviously still going to be routing during this point, but this was really all that was going on at the end of 2000. And next episode, I actually think we're just going straight to another ban list and uh, a a whole new series of decks, supposedly. Maybe the January 2001 ban list will be enough to actually, like, affect change and we'll see some different strategies. It might not be super likely, but I'm pretty sure there's a lot of hits and a lot of cards that are currently, like, either unlimited or semi go to limited, and that can actually make it so that there aren't these just major power push. I mean, like, the fact that, like, Heavy is still at, like, two is hilarious to me. IO being at two is still just as annoying and arguably just, like, worse, because, like, at least if it's at three or one, I, I don't want to get into it. But in any case, this is going to be an interesting one it's cool to see like how these decks adapted given like the slight increase in the card pool but also the way the ban list affected it and uh i'm curious to see next episode as well how that's going to take place too let's not make you wait any longer ladies and gentlemen it's time to duel Well, Joseph, we're almost at the end of the year. We have some hits, and uh, to no one's surprise, the same three decks are still the same three decks. They're just uh, neutered in some way or another. How are you feeling? Uh, I'm feeling like I am never playing mail ever again. This is this is, this is it. <laughs> <laughs> for those who who were uninformed, as soon as I had I presented Joseph with the opportunity to play decks for the series, he's like, "Oh, I'm playing mill the whole time." I'm like, "Okay, you do that," and uh, here we are. Although I don't know how much longer mill is going to survive. If I'm to be completely honest, well, with you. So, I'm currently I, I think oh and five on it so we'll uh we'll see if i can change that at all i mean i know you just want me to play the exodia deck again but oh yeah for sure best of luck i'm only on 42 cards now we've uh, we've adapted i appreciate that uh let's lead charity huh sure yikes that is actually not yikes at all uh i don't need these two okay. why don't i need these two because i have the shallow grave hooray uh, it's crazy in old Yu-Gi-Oh. It's I not bad. This. It's not bad. Uh, bada bing, bada boom, baby. Let's go. All right. Don't like that. Uh, this is probably going to suck, duo. No, I need these fucking cards. <laughs> that's that's why I knew this was gonna suck. Great. Let the let the fun begin. I guess. Uh, I will set two cards. And you know what? That's probably morphing jar set. So we'll set <laughs> that, two more sets cards. Some more go cards. Ahead. <laughs> okay, uh, we're going to flip summon Spear Creed. I wonder how this works. Uh, if you judgment this, it doesn't trigger. That's not what I'm wondering. Uh, what did you set off the other Spear Creed? Oh, no, no, you brought back Shallow Grave. I don't know the set. I'm sorry. Yeah. I knew that Spear Creed from Shallow Grave. I was getting confused. I think this works the way I think it will, and you can tell me if I'm wrong. I'm going to activate a new card. Well, Ring of Destruction, the Spear Creed is chain two. Because if I'm right, the ring should blow Spear Creed up before it resolves its effect, so it's no <laughs> longer on the field. Or it's not being sent to the graveyard after being flipped, because the effect hasn't activated yet. Yeah, because the way I'm looking at it is, it doesn't... <laughs> go to the grave after resolving its effect. It's before it resolves the effect. So I don't think it gets a chance to trigger, but okay. We'll go with it. If we're wrong, we're wrong, whatever. All the right. comments can decide. <laughs> Vote now on your phones, folks. Uh, let's uh, flip some in Needleworm. I'll take, uh, I'm not taking anything, I'm milling. Yeah. If, Mill five. If that's a moth, I just got like so massively outplayed. Uh, <laughs> wah. Uh, it's Sangan. It's not Moth. Not I like it. how Needleworm can actually hit over this. He's a uh, big boy. I will. Also, you're complaining about Moth when you have IO up. Like, yeah, what yeah, I know how these games work. <laughs> <laughs> I will just grab, you know, just keep the fucking rotation going, I guess. I will just get another Sangan. Whatever. You got it. Go main two. Let's go set two, baby. You didn't even pay for your IO. Pay for that shit. Why? What if I wanted to keep it around? Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah. What whatever. am I afraid of? Okay. Duster? Uh, I have well, fucking IO. <laughs> yeah. Sangin. Yeah. Hit the needle worm. No, I take 250 here. I need to get all the damage I can here, Joseph. <laughs> Trying to pay out the IO. Go. I have been here. There she goes. Um, 
I wonder if I'm... What, are you not doing this now after I just drew five? Yeah, I'm doing okay, it. Okay, that's what I thought. Oh, uh, okay. Um, I kind of was hoping for more than that. Uh, go ahead. Hey, you, did you pay for your... You didn't pay for your IO you, again. What are you talking about? I don't... What's the problem? Such a cheater. That's oh true. God. You're right. All right. Uh, well, Joseph, Gemini Elf has been power crept. Behold, Vorse Raider. There he is. It's another 1900. I'll uh, take we'll take 12 here. here. Okay. It's, we're getting... We're slowly but surely getting somewhere. Uh, ooh, do I attack this? How are we feeling? Uh, I'll Gamba. It's Spear Creedon. Spear Creedon. Uh, I don't know what uh, I each really want to target, target here, though. <laughs> I'm going to target Morphic. <laughs> God damn it. Yeah, okay. I got my witch. Uh, second main. I fucking hate IOs. Yeah, so get ready. Yeah. yeah. Pay your seven. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I guess you don't have to. Yeah, I'll pay yeah. my seven. I'll pay seven. You know what? I'm not going to pay the seven. Fuck you. <laughs> if you're not Frankie. paying the seven, that's not good. Exa that is exactly why that is not good. <laughs> um, I think I'm going to ring my own Vorse Raider. That, I, honestly, that sounds correct. Um, I'm I think I, I need to put you on a clock. <sighs> yeah, okay. Um, so these die. I get two effects, which is really bad because you're just going to fucking wheel everything I add here. It's possible. Uh, so I'm going to get DD Warrior because that card sucks. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to get... Which of these do I want? I actually <laughs> think I get Sangan because like Sangan's like a liability against Mill. So yeah, okay. Oh, what? Are you going to set another IO after Raigeki-ing me? Yeah, is that the play? Yeah. All right. Ooh, nice pot. That's like a really good card. Yeah. Isn't it? Yeah. It's great when I uh, don't have any fucking things Ooh, I can do. Knock in the main, huh? We're trying. Oh, oh my God. Uh, okay, Dark Hole. A dark Hole your own jar? Sure. Uh, shallow Grave. Do I even want Moff? You're just going to IO me. I might. Fuck it. Give me Vorse Raider. <sighs> okay. Uh, card desk. What did you take? Spear Cretan? Yeah. Okay. Uh, card desk? Yeah, that's fine. I might just be dead here. It's possible. Oh. Uh, Feather Duster? I mean, I wasn't doing much with these cards anyway, I'll be honest with you. Yeah. Uh, card desk. I actually just might be dead here. Yeah. I pitched the third card desk, regrettably. Okay. Happy to hear that. Oh my fucking god. Hey, I'm just going to show you these. <laughs> I just wanted you to know what was about to happen. <laughs> oh my god. Uh okay. Um Wow. That's crazy too, because you could have drawn the third card desk and then your hand is like refueled to just do it again. Yeah, that is that I'm is basically crazy. dead here anyway, but you know. Shallow grave. Sure. I'll fucking grab morphing jar. Why not? I bet you will. I'll get Force Raider. Uh whoop. Whoop. Great. Go ahead. Great. Yep. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Anything else? <laughs> no. Anything else? Better be some crazy cards in that grip of yours. And this card's pretty crazy. Uh, yeah. I don't actually think it is because that shit is not going to ah! <laughs> I'm so dead. <laughs> uh, what is this? Uh, uh, six. Uh, 20 or 1375. 1375. You can also do hash. Uh, you can do slash half in the text box and it'll half your life points. It's Morphing Jar yeah. and Spear Cretan. Yeah. Pre-mat target Jinzo. Oh wow, that's uh, that's really annoying. Uh, jammer. Okay. Change of heart target the morphing jar. How do you know which one is the morphing jar? Because you fucking said it. <clears throat> uh, okay. Um, you normaled right? You normaled the Jinzo. I did normal the Jinzo. What am I scared of? Uh, yeah, that's fine. Set two. Yep. Oh, you're going to try to draw the out. I don't even know if I have an out. I'm trying to see what I can do. Heavy. It's judgment. Okay. Uh, I lose these. Very funny because I just set them. Uh, flip Vorse Raider. Yeah. Set one and pass. Oh, it's ceasefire. It's much worse, buddy. I'll ring my Vorse Raider for game. Rings at two? Rings at three? Rings at three. Oh, my God. That's <laughs> so annoying. Oh, my God. Yes. I don't know how we did it, but we did it. That was, that was Jammer Solemn Solemn.
That one hurt, Alex. I'm not gonna lie. That one hurt. I I gotta be. I didn't even know that was my out. I just like I'm like, well, if I'm gonna lose next turn anyway, I may as well try to do something about it. Oh, we are not playing Yu-Gi-Oh here today. This one, Great. this one, we're not playing any Yu-Gi-Oh whatsoever. Go. Hmm. I wonder what that could be. Could be hmm. literally anything. Interesting. Interesting. Uh, charity. Yeah. I did not think we would get this far. Okay. Uh, in that case. Wow, this hand is kind of crazy. Uh, let's get rid of... Uh, oh, is it that? It might be. Definitely getting rid of pre-mat. Oh, God, I hate this. I think all these cards are fucking nuts. I'm going to get rid of ring, even though that's like my win. Yippee! Condition. Pot? Yeah. Wow. Okay. <laughs> sure. I'm going to attempt to nobleman the monster. Okay. Well, I can't let that happen. Uh, I figured. Io. What do you got? You were holding the Io. That Joseph, why time. did you hold you Io and let Alex draw five? He's got to draw five eventually, chat. He's going to see every That's card true. in the deck. That's true. That's very true. Okay. Uh, in that case, I will set two cards and I'll throw it to you. All right. This cyber jar is going to have to go crazy. I'm going to try to cease fire. Oh, that's so annoying. It's morphing. Yeah, I figured. Uh, right, I'll so pay out a both my guys also. Uh, pay 100 for messenger, 7 for IO, and then 1,000 for the ceasefire. Yep. Wow, that's like so annoying. Good. I'll draw. Um, I guess we have to play this game, which sucks, but it is what it is. Uh, I'll go for a second witch. Yeah. Uh, you could have a second jar... Got like IO and shit. You would have set everything if you had morphing jar. So I'm just gonna set two just in case. And uh we'll take out this jar. Yep. I'll try to take this out. This is sand again. Uh we're gonna grab cyber here. And I'll pass. You gonna pay for your upkeep? Yeah, I'll do them both. Cyber jar is about to go crazy. He could. Uh let's see what happens. That's him. Spin to win. That's not Ooh, very many at all. Only one monster. Okay. Jinzo's pretty good. I also only got one, though. So shallow, Cardess. Uh, what else? Deck, this, or, uh, crush card. What's the last one? Charity. Charity. That's really bad. Get all these. What'd you get? Uh, Call of the Haunted, Graceful Charity, Dark Hole, Jinzo, Witch. Yep. Uh, you also have a Witch set, so maybe I just set this Witch. It's not really doing anything. Sorry, this set card is Spear Cretan, not Witch. Oh, Spear Cretan? Oh, okay, sorry. Spear Cretan makes things infinitely worse for us, doesn't it? Uh, yeah, I'll set this Witch off the jar. And then uh, grab your... Main. You got two Witches. Oh, my Wish Effects. Thank you. Yep, that's... that's. Oh, don't worry. I'm going to let you draw uh, those cards, buddy. I bet you are. I bet you are. You're not going to forget. Shallow Card Desk, Crush Card, Charity... I mean, it probably really doesn't fucking matter in all honesty. Uh, I'll get a Faith and a Sangen. Yeah. I've got so many fucking cards. Oh, my God. Um... And it feels great. I'll set and I'll set. I mean, I'm going to lose all this shit anyway. I guess I'll just set this too. Okay. Uh, I'm going to let this lapse. I'll pay the hundo though. Shocker. I wouldn't have guessed. How are we feeling for him? It's going to look really weird. Um, mm, Geki? Yep. Which effect? Yep. Guess I'll get Sangen. Um... Des. Card desk? Yeah. yeah. I'm going to get so cooked here because I have seven cards. I will draw seven. Uh, pod. Card desk is so scary. Yeah. Card desk is so scary because of the fact that kill some witches or sangans to give me cards first. That's so good for you. It's, yeah, it's insane. Charity. Uh, don't need Morphing Jar 2 or Witch. Des? Yep. All right, third Des. Let's go. Wrap this game up. <laughs> it's a crazy hand. Can't do anything with it, though. I think you're going to get to keep it. Um, Ooh, no third card Des. Okay. I know. Okay. Uh, let us flip summon Spear Cretan. A lot of bullshit back there. Uh, <laughs> Swords. Gross. Yep. Good. Uh, end phase call on Jinzo. Yep. 
Okay, I'll draw. Uh -huh. At least I get a chance to use my spells. Uh, if only they were better. That's the main problem here. Uh, let's start with this one. This one's pretty good. Yeah, I was just kind of hoping there was not a, uh, a call there, as I did literally just win the game. Uh-huh. Okay. Uh, I still have to win the game here somehow. I mean, I think you are in a pretty good position to do so. You would think that, but unfortunately, I think the rest of my board fucking sucks. Uh, let me see if I can piece it together. Can I figure out what your other set is? You have 12 left in deck. Uh, you only have like one of each jar though. God, these last cards are not very good. Do that, do that. I think I have to change of heart your set. I can't believe that paid off for you. Fucking hell, oh, dude. Oh my God. I'm not gonna lie. I'm kind of wishing I took the fucking spear Crete now. <laughs> well, I'll mill you. Yeah, it's I funny. bet you will. <laughs> Neko main king. Oh, cool. Duster, Solemn, Solemn, Des. There they all are. I found good. them. There they all are. Any of those last turns uh, just uh, won me the game on the spot. Uh... Well, unfortunately, you're still fine here because your fucking Cretan can just get back this stupid-ass Cyber Jar. <laughs> That'd be kind of funny. Uh, there's got to be some way I can slice this up. I don't think there is, though. Uh, let's just go... I just go battle here. Uh, Jinzo over Spear Cretan. 19. It's like a ton. Yep. Cretan effect. Uh, we'll grab Morphing 2. Morphing 2? Okay. Uh, I'll take Vorse Raider. I'll let you know. It's not going to fucking matter. Uh, second main. It's going to Dark Hole. Uh, duo the last two cards out of your hand. Jesus Christ, dude. I have it normaled, correct? That is right. So. Okay, so I'm going to go normal Vorse Raider, and then I'm going to set th three cards and pass. Okay, this should be the end of the game. Yeah. Uh, yep. You oh. got a ring back there? Uh, I have Reborn, which is funnier. So. Sure. Uh, yeah. Oh, my God. Okay. Uh, do you want to try the game three? <laughs> Not really, to be honest. <laughs> I didn't think so. I didn't think so. That's uh, fine. I think people get the point. That's I think so irritating. I put myself in such a good position that last game. I that's mean, what I thought, too. I had to find, yeah. uh, off the top, I had to find either Duster or uh, Heavy or the third Des or... Mm -hmm. um, uh, there was like one or two other just like random uh, mill cards that did it. And uh, I didn't. Instead, I found none of those in twelve draws. That's crazy. Well, because like, crazy. or I yeah. needed you not to have call, but like you always have yeah. call. Like I hadn't seen call yet. And like I set that duster. I'm pretty sure like turn <laughs> one because I'm just like it, it's. It it's felt safer, just safer on field. On the yeah. field. Yeah, which is like horrifying to think. But I mean, it, honestly, I think it's pretty true. I didn't even know you were on heavy. Did you like board it in? Yeah. Well, um, oh, okay. this was, that makes sense. this is, uh, this, we, uh, I think we have ended with, uh, Mill having what? An 0 and 6 record. <laughs> it's been the great equalizer. Best deck. <laughs> Best uh, deck. No, yeah. I, I mean, say, even if it's good and Des is insanely yeah. strong, but you know, players adapt and good players will adapt better than bad players. I will also say too, let's look at this in the context of like 2000, right? I think if you're going to have two, like, children playing this game who, like, haven't played Yu-Gi-Oh! for, like, 20 years like we have, mm -hmm. I could see Mill just, like, running rampant and just, like, decimating people because they don't know how to, like, properly, like, play around it. Yeah. Right? Not that we're, like, shiny examples of that, but I feel like, especially as kids, when you play, like, the old GBA games and stuff, you run into the Mill decks and, like, sometimes you just get bodied because you're just, like, you just, like, don't know what you're doing. And so, like, I could see that, but also, like, it played such an important role because it did keep Exodia in check. Like, Mill's prevalence in the game, even with, like, Backup Soldier and shit, if the if Exodia's head went to the grave, the game just immediately fucking ended. Yeah. Um. And so, like, that was important considering, like, everyone during the time was having PTSD from Exodia being so good. So, like... I can understand, like, why, you know, this might be a breath of fresh air comparatively. And it is, like, a little, like, slow control style deck that if you like that sort of gameplay, then that's fine. Especially, you know, because compared to normal just beat down good stuff, it, it can get kind of boring.
right? Mm-hmm. So like I I can understand its role in history, but yeah, I don't know. I I think it's definitely it's it's time has definitely neared to say the least. It's crazy. It, it got the best card it's ever gotten in Death, and it's like yep, and it's weaker than ever. Yep, uh, too crazy. Although I don't know, you did some cool shit in these games with card deaths. Uh, you were so close. I'm I'm just very glad that I will never have to play this again. <laughs> you volunteered. That's all. I I'm did. Saying. I did. So guys, that's going to wrap it up for another video. I really hope you all enjoy. Let's go ahead and shout the patrons for all of their continued support. So shout to Shout1317, Tim00x3, MBT Play Medolce, Moto, Cameron L. Smith, Phoenix the Immortal, Pony Stark, The Synchro Guy, Dan the Man Hoban, Little Fade Leaf, Draconic, Dylan Rare Hunter, JW11860, Extremely Vulgar Man, Brody Eastwood, Flannel Daddy, Chrono the Branded Enjoyer, Twinkle Muncher, Matthew Brady, Uncle Brian of Stardust, Power Rave, both out a stupidly long name that barely makes any sense and is annoying to read out loud, Cheeks McLapperty, Stolfin Amethyst, Wonder Waffle, MBT cancel by all community soon, cancel by all committee soon, cancel by all players soon, Nicholas Carpenter, Corvain, Calvin Tempest, RIP Akira Toriyama, Daniel Howell, and life keeps using solemn judgment on my hopes and dreams. Thank you all so much for watching, and we will see you next time.